So recently, I was telling those in my mentorship group that if you want to blend an image with your background, that the best way to go about it is in that this. is you take um you go to shape and then you go to gradient, and I'm going to take let's take this from scratch. I'm going to click on this plus icon and select this. So the first one you, you're going to click on it and go to color, and you press OK. Sorry, click on the first one. You go to color. So now you now you're gonna take the same color as your background. So the best thing to do is to use the color pick to hold on stress or and you can do this so you pick on it and you have the same color as your background. Uh, if you want to pick anything else, you see all the layers here, you can select one of them and fine tune the color you want. But let's stick to our, the script. So we have this, you press OK. So the next one which is this one here you're just gonna click on it make sure you click on it see that it's highlighted and you go to color here and you take the third one which is this to the end to the end so you have this you have made it transparent now it's like this but where we want to cover now is not this top right is the bottom part so what you want to do is that you can take this one and by the way there are several Ties here you can use the abacus here. So, but for this, this one is this one can do the job. So we just have to take this one, just have to swap them. Yeah, switch. So we have this. Now you position it the way you want. Hey, look at it. Does it quite cover what you want? If it doesn't, you adjust again. You adjust again, and you can come here to like increase this place here. This place here, so uh, you can increase it like this, and you have it to cover more space. You see, let's lock this one by the way. Now, if you want to cover other parts, just copy, just copy, and you can do this. So, we are copying, we are uh, covering the other sides, so you can just do this. Now, you can play up and if you don't want it to like touch this part because this one obviously is covering the shirt and we don't quite want that there's a way you do that you just come here to adjust this place here this place here so you adjust this place so it won't touch more part there so you do the same for the others do the same for the others you don't want to touch more part so Let's do the one. Let's begin with this, uh, the first one. So you adjust it. Very well. So you see, it won't be covering more of this part. So you do it, you cover. So, so you see, it's, a it's nice. But the issue here is that this won't work. It, it works here because it, this is just a plain background, just one color. But what about if you are creating an advanced background? And I can't really show you now because I did not set this. But I'm just going to show you this simple one. Let's just work with the gradient color now. So I'm just going to use one gradient color here. Oh, there's no gradient color, but I like. Oh, there's one. So let's say we're working with a gradient color like this. Now, using um, this. You know it's gonna be quite difficult to work with this now because it's a gradient color since they make sure this one is even easy here because it's just two colors but the thing is that this is not the best way to go about it so let's say we have this now you see it's gonna be even quite difficult to match it and if you say you want to adjust it it's just gonna stress you and I tell you it won't still won't give you the best best way to go about this I tell you it's to use eraser tool so what you just do is go to your eraser tool which is this you click on it now I know I already made a video on how to use eraser tool so probably or, or you knew it on somewhere else before and what you need to do of course is to take this one to the ending take this one to the ending and even this one as well because this this one is for the size actually this first one is for the size you see now this second one makes it blurry i just observe this place makes it blurry now the thing now is that i know 
probably what you learned is that it's to do something like this so you start from the bottom and you're cleaning gently now this is nice you, you, you still get a good work if you do it well but i tell you a better way because most time people have issues blending blending um, photos like that and remember i said i had a conversation with some of my students on this and they think that it won't work for certain things but i tell you it works for every design every background so what you do is this i'm going to show you what you do is that make it as big as this then just give it a gentle first of all decide where you want to give it the swipe so let's say it's this area i just want sorry let's just say it's this area i want to cut off you have to say that's a good one a good part so what I just need to do is give it a clean swipe from that very place not from the bottom so oh that, that may be too much let me reduce this so let's say I just want because I want you to get what I'm about to explain so let's say I just give it a clean swipe like this then I'm just gonna clean the bottom so let's see you see easy blend easy blend so if this still isn't what you want of course you can do it again give it a cool swipe then clean the bottom it's more easier this way to get the blend if it don't than starting from the bottom yeah please subscribe to this video if you find it helpful and don't forget to leave a comment